to this remind me. This will we now be recorded. We need to start recording the session, okay? So I'll be taking care of entire Linux part, which is uh, uh, already you got a discussion. You you got to know that uh, you know it is very important to you know it's it's like a prerequisite. Why it's a prerequisite? Uh, what is DevOps? What is SDLC? These all things I believe yesterday you have already gone through the demo session by Amar, right? He is the DevOps uh, trainer for us. Okay. I'll be taking care of this uh, initial few, uh, you know, uh, few days, which you will be getting a trained in Linux. Getting it, guys? And I hope the prerequisites are is also already told to you that we need Linux uh, basics, as well as we need a uh, you know proper network, and you should definitely have one uh, laptop with you for the practice. Guys. That's more than enough. What is the laptop? It's, it should work decently. It should get connected to internet and work decently. That's more than enough. I, we don't require any uh, specification for your systems. Okay. All you need is a laptop so that you can practice on that. Because the rest, all practice and all, we will be, uh, you know, to practice DevOps tools and all. It requires a lot of resources, which we will be getting from uh, AWS account. I'll, I'll tell you how to do that. Okay. Hope everybody is having that, guys, right? Is there anyone uh, didn't log in with their la laptop today? Guys? What's that? We connected with the uh, mobile. Uh, I missed yesterday class. No, I will be connected with the laptop. Nice, nice. I request everyone to every day connect with from their system only, laptop, desktop, whatever. Okay? I request everyone to do. Uh, so Janathan, you were logged in with laptop only, right? No, I connect with the tab tablet. Tablet, okay. Ganesh, what about you? I'm connecting to my mobile. Through mobile, okay. Uh, Trinath, what about you? Hello, Trinath. Mobile, mobile, sir. Mobile, 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 oh. connected mobile. Okay. Shri, Shrinu? Easy, sir. Connect to a laptop. Oh, nice. Good. Uh, hi, Padmaja. Uh, good evening. Uh, am I audible? Padmaja Shivkumar. Hello. Hello. Guys, if anybody is not able to hear me, please let me know. Okay. So, okay. Um, We'll start uh, discussing about the prerequisites already we had. Yesterday we had the discussion where we learned, uh, Amar has, a, you know, gave a brief introduction about what is SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle, what is uh, DevOps and how it has revolutionized the SDLC, how speed, uh, you know, today's technologies has become, okay? That's why we are having uh, lots of versions, releases every day, you know, um, and uh, what is the importance of this DevOps, right? Anyways, there is a pretty much clarity among this, among ourselves, right? All of us have good understanding why we are in this session, right? To learn AWS DevOps, it's a cloud DevOps, okay? And uh, the prerequisite is Linux. So let's start from there, okay? What we are going to do today, I'll tell you guys. The first uh, one week of classes will be Linux, that's a prerequisite. And uh, today we'll be setting up the uh, found kind of foundation like you know today we'll be setting up how to get all the resources for our training which are important for our training so we'll set our resources today and from tomorrow we'll have the actual knowledge session sent off okay but today's session is also very important stay focused because by the end of the class what we are going to do okay everybody should uh, uh, try to replicate it by today uh, tomorrow and uh, you should have your own set of resources for Nice guys. So let's go ahead. Let me share my screen. So everybody, I uh, hope I you can see the screen, right? Can you confirm whether you can see the screen? Yeah, it's visible. Okay. And. Uh, Already you learned yesterday why uh, we need 
uh, what is devops and all and for example guys i believe uh, how many people here in this group are using uh, window systems as their personal systems windows operating system on their personal systems mine is of course you can see it's a windows system of course windows. right what about Srinath? Uh, what OS you're using apart from Windows or Windows itself? Windows. Windows, Srinu. Yes. Uh, Ganesh, yours? Ubuntu. Ubuntu 20. Your, your, your personal system or office system? I'm asking like. Actually, actually, my personal system also using Ubuntu and my office system is also using a CentOS 7. Oh, nice, nice, good. Janadan, what about you? Mac. Mac, okay. And uh, what about uh, uh, Pal? I'm using Mac. Wow. Okay, what can I call you? Because I'm I'm pretty much not used to that. Uh, yes. Palak? Yeah, I just use the name. I'll change. It's Palak. Yeah, sure, sure. Please change it, Palak. Yeah. So it's uh, Windows? No, it's Mac. It's Mac again by you as well. Right. And uh, Srinu said, Varlakshmi, what about you? Which system you are using? Varlakshmi, am I audible? Hello. Please try to unmute yourself and speak. Varlakshmi, I am uh, unable to hear you. If, if you are trying to speak, please unmute. Okay. Fine guys, whatsoever. Uh, almost all of us uh, are uh, uh, very much, you know, uh, handy, and you know we are used to use, use Windows a lot, right? Uh, and why now Linux we are going? Of course, here also in this group we have only one person using Linux as his uh, personal system, and rest all either Windows or Mac. Definitely because MacBook, Mac because it's a MacBook. That's it. If it is a HP, Samsung, whatever other, uh, you know, all systems will be using Windows only. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm saying you that um, pretty much uh, we are completely used to Windows. Okay. Then why we are taking Linux as a prerequisite over Windows for learning this DevOps? And tell me, will DevOps not be uh, uh, performed using Windows servers? Is it only by Linux? No, it's not like that. In DevOps also, in DevOps, we can also use Windows servers. But uh, there are some uh, advantages and uh, uh, pretty much, you know, uh, few differences are there, which helps us taking, uh, you know, which helps us to take the decision of using Linux servers. So can can you can we share it, guys? What what kind of uh, things may what kind of the differences uh, which makes Linux more advantageous using I mean using over Windows for DevOps, guys? Anything? Just let's make a discussion. It could help us a lot. Yeah. Don't hesitate. Try to just uh, uh, you know. Let's come in, you know, discuss. That's it, guys. Don't be mute or silent. It's not a good thing. Please, guys. Anybody? Please repeat the question once more, one more time. Simple. This is the question. Why Linux over Windows? Got it, right? Why Linux is preferred over Windows? Linux is more secure than Windows. Okay. I can take it secure. Yeah, we can use the uh, same uh, mission as for multiple users. That is there in Windows also. But good point, but what can be much uh, better or, you know? First thing is, it's an open source thing, okay? Linux is an open source code, okay? While Windows is enterprise version, right? And uh, yeah, of course, security is the thing. Why? Because Linux comes up with 
it is not like linux is not having any risk of virus but linux is uh, uh, comparatively okay less risky to virus okay and uh, why because it's completely command line interface right linux comes up with cli command line interface to get any response you need to give a command while windows comes up with graphical user interface got it so you might ask like in 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 uh, windows also we have uh, cli but the windows cli uh, as compared to uh, linux cli is not that advantageous linux cli you know guys it is very useful or effective for automation okay and as we know that we are going to this particular concept of devops for uh, automating the processes of the sdlc of course we want to work on this that's a very simple thing so we want linux it's a conclusion you can understand already we know that our prerequisite is linux but now tell me guys how to get a linux uh, how to get a linux server except ganesh here everybody else is having either a windows or a mac now how to practice how to take our entire uh, training uh, sessions ahead any idea palak uh, janardhan srinu any idea guys how to take uh, you know shall we buy no. some linux system or in install linux system on our current system what we can do cloud so do mx vmware otherwise uh, virtual box yeah you can install see for example this is our pc okay already uh, uh, a partition i mean already we have installed uh, uh, operating system as uh, you know uh, windows or, or linux or something okay the rest of the resource i mean the same resource will be available there is some c uh, 500 gb hard disk um, 16 gb ram something like that okay and we also want to uh, do one uh, install one linux okay we can do a thing we can uh, install hypervisor and we can install one linux over here but can you change the resources today you have 16 gb and 500 gb hard disk and 16 gb ram and one processor i5 i7 something can you change it tomorrow it is very difficult right it no. is too costly for us so for that purpose what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, one we are going to create one aws account and what is this aws account and what and how it helps us already i believe yesterday you might have gone through this what's a data center right just give me one second guys okay just a second sorry guys yeah man so as today you saw is this is a data center what is a data center basically it's the hardware the place where you have all the hardware every business organization even you want to start a small startup you need to keep all your software or development or you know the the set of uh, you know you need databases and all everything is stored here basically okay this is the hardware resources where it is there actually it is in a data center what is a data center typically a data center is a kind of warehouse or a room guys having all this set of racks you know each uh, uh, almiras racks whatever which will have the servers okay to be more clear let me show you one such kind of thing see this is a big google uh, data center it's a big warehouse okay this is a very big warehouse having rooms like this only 
So inside the rooms are like this, like this, and you will have the heart. Okay. And uh, already you gone through this, right? And those servers will be like this. See, this guy inserting this blade server. There are some. Uh, this these are called blade servers. There are rack servers also. Different different servers. For these servers are these are completely hardware devices. That's it. They have everything on them. They have the storage. They have the RAM. They have the uh, um, even uh, hard disk storage processors and all. So now this is kind of setup we have in data centers and what amazon has come up is with aws data center this typically looks like this where i see i said you again and these people have pro are providing see they are having this kind of data center throughout the world and that is called a cloud okay because they are throughout the world anywhere you keep something in one data center you can keep it protected safe and uh, so many more advantages are there with these kind of data centers and there is no need of actually we setting up any data center we can just access them and pay a rent uh, to them that's it okay a kind of rental basis and uh, just like creating one gmail account and a facebook account guys we can also create one aws account for our training purpose so today we are going to set up one aws account each okay and see and how how to create linux servers we will be creating one system literally linux server will be creating in one of uh, data center and we will log into that uh, linux box and see how we can practice from tomorrow what all the things okay so that's the session today and i need one volunteer for this particular session guys. okay can anybody share your screen because uh, this account creation is a five step process and i would like you people to uh, share one of your screens so that i'll take it a step by step i'll i'll take care of that okay so guys would like to share your screen yeah i'm okay to share it okay Palak. but yours is mac right so let's try yeah. once because i'm i know that uh, uh, there would be a little bit of difficulty while sharing it's a personal system your mac is a personal system right oh no it's an office system office system will have more restrictions i believe okay <clears throat> okay you can try once not a problem you can use Again, mine well. sorry Rajini, i can share my screen okay this is windows yeah it's windows windows 10. palaki are you able to share no, 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 I'm not getting even getting the option to share. <laughs> it will reset. I said, you know, even the personal Mac also have some restrictions. We need to change oh. that initially. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Don't worry, anyways. Uh, thank you. Uh, can you better open a new browser? We can uh, take a look into that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, new Windows, Chrome. New. Uh, uh chrome browser that's it new session yeah new window <laughs> yeah. this is having a lot of your work stuff right <laughs> i don't want to disturb that with this a lot of things are actually just uh, uh can you see in the center of uh, the screen at the top you can see there is a remote access can be given can you give yeah, it to me can you give it to me I'll take one, care. Yeah. Of it. yeah. You can leave your mouse. Yeah. Okay, it's a Yahoo. Okay. So we'll be doing this AWS management. Do you have any AWS account earlier? Uh, I used to have one. Okay. You don't have any any anything right now, right? okay so guys see we need to go to aws management console and log into this it's a five step process as i said you create an aws account first uh, you will start uh, doing it uh, rajnikanth you need to help me here okay you can give your uh, um, mail id which you haven't used already for creating one account please go ahead i've not used 
Is it your uh, working organizations? No, 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 no. Uh, this belongs to IEEE Professional Society and uh, it's mapped to Google. Okay, it's your personal account, right? It uh, it won't help uh, affect your uh, work, right? Good, good. Go ahead. Yeah, please go ahead. You can give your account name. Remove that. This is the first step where your uh, uh, mail verification will be done, guys. Okay, you can verify your email. You can also start uh, creating it, uh, uh, guys. But please follow the process. Anyways, you'll get the uh, recording. By tomorrow, everybody should have your accounts. Okay, because this is the only place where we'll be started to practice. This is the free account which will which we are going to create it. See, okay. And for the rest of our DevOps sessions, also we'll create resources here and we'll practice here itself. So that's why please make sure everybody has one. Okay. So did you get the mail? Uh, yeah, yeah, I go ahead, go ahead. Nice. Yeah. Set a password. I can set any password, right? You can set a password having uppercase, lowercase, number, and also one uh, special character. Then only it will accept. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah, scroll down slowly. Scroll down, scroll down, come down. I am unable to see that option. Oh, okay, just, just wait. Just, I'll do it for you. You need to remove that pop up actually. Mm. Okay, continue. Step one of five. Now you can save it because it's a personal system only, right? Yeah, it's a personal system. Uh, then good. So, guys, here see free tire offers. You yeah, have always a 12 month free something is there, but don't worry. You'll have 12 months free every month. You'll have some 50 hours of uh, services for free. As I'm saying, it's free. It's not completely free, guys. We are entitled uh, to use few services for free. Also, make sure you guys uh, get that understanding. Okay, I'll show you how what are those. And uh, we are creating a personal one, so you can start filling uh, in address. Uh, you, there is no need of filling your exact address. Just I need to. I want you to fill both the blocks with something. Yeah, you can start with your name. Yeah, go ahead. Hyderabad is your number as well. Yeah, Hyderabad. Uh, below that. Ukadpalli, Miyapur, something, whatever it is. Below that, below that. There, there is another block, right? The, no, no, not in city. Here, here. Okay, that's fine. I want you to fill this block also. Yeah. yeah. Yes, nice. Fill this block. I don't know as well. Yeah. Blocks are uh, need to be filled. Actually, it will. You can fill it with uh, Hyderabad something like that. No problem. Mm. Mm, nice. And uh, can you can you give your number? Change the country and region first of all. And directly give your number. It's more than change it to India. I need to give my perfect number, right? Yes, you need to give it. Nothing will happen. Don't worry. Okay, this probably this uh, won't affect us any anyways. Slowly scroll down. Scrolling down is not. Ah, oh, wait, wait. I'll, I'll scroll it down. Just a second. Telangana, your pin code is right. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, I that. missed one part. It's personal, right? Ah, it is personal. Hello, yeah. Okay. Ah, wait. See, guys. Uh, at this position, just give one second. See, uh, that will act. This is not actually one USD. For uh, your identity check, guys, this will deduct one, a two rupees from your account and again credit it back to you. Only allowed cards are Visa, Mastercard, or American Express. This is where you need to give your card information and. Uh, just before giving it, uh, try to unshare your screen, uh, Rajneekant. Okay.
because this yeah. is being a recorded session we don't want to expose your data or information just unshare your screen not even stop unshare unshare the same place where you have yeah the screen icon is there right there is a screen icon right yeah that's good i cannot see your screen now Sir, rupee card is compatible for creating a AWS account. Yes, where rupee card? Sorry. Yes, where rupee card is compatible for creating a AWS account. No, no, no rupee card. No rupee card. Only Visa, Master. Rupee won't work. Okay, okay. Just uh, you can complete it. Give me one second, guys. Meanwhile, our friend Rajnikant will complete the uh, card details process. Okay. If anybody is also trying parallelly, you can try it, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, uh, is it done, Rajnikant? So if it is done, ah, okay, do it. No problem. Yeah, once it's done, let me uh, let, uh, inform me. Okay. So, guys, uh, as I said, like this is a five-step process. This is where you might uh, face a little bit of disturbance, but it's not a big deal. You need to just have a master or uh, a visa card with you. Okay, and. Uh, one more thing is actually why we are going with AWS. Some people might have a question like uh, uh, today the market is having both Azure, GCP, and also AWS. A lot of opportunities are there, but why to go with AWS? It's very simple. See, uh, while learning some operating systems, which is much easier for us uh, to anybody to get interacted with computers, obviously Windows, right? Because the graphical user interface is much easier. And uh, we have uh, that uh, uh, easiness to learn while compared to Linux or Mac, definitely. Right, guys? In the same way, what I can tell about AWS on cloud technologies of cloud platforms, it is the one which has started in the year 2006 with three services. Today, it is having more than 200 plus services, guys. Okay. It is very much uh, widely being used in the market, having uh, around uh, 36 to 38 percent of market, uh, you know, captures also. Welcome to Azure, it is 18 and the GCP is 12, I believe, to my knowledge only. It's not accurate, don't worry. But to learn any cloud technology, the same services will be there inside other technologies also. Okay. And uh, what happens with AWS is it's much easier to learn. Easy terminology and all. Okay. Even Microsoft every time comes up with easy terminologies, but uh, while while we are talking about uh, uh, cloud technologies, definitely AWS uh, naming system is much easier as compared to Azure and GC. So once you learn one technology, one one uh, you know uh, cloud technology, it's, it's obviously very easy to understand the others also. And today the market is also offering offers to everybody. Why? Because it's completely client dependency. Which uh, tool or which cloud you they want you to use? Okay. As a as the company, we might have some knowledge on some tools and all, but the final thing is the client will ask you to use the particular. Okay. Yeah, Palak, you want uh, to ask something? Yeah, yeah, I have a question. So, uh, learning AWS DevOps and learning normal AWS as a cloud is it one of the same thing, or they have different sides of it? Nice, good. It's a good question. Like, see, uh, as I'm telling, the cloud, it's it's AWS is a kind of cloud. And Azure yeah. is also, it's a data center where we need not set up our own data center for our business needs. Okay. Because the yeah. setup, initial setup cost is too much high. 
and uh, these are helping us to uh, uh, give uh, give the resources on a rental basis that's the first understanding about cloud so while speaking in perspective of cloud you have lots and lots of services what different different uh, set of domains can use for example like a devops to completely set up the infrastructure architecture and all there are several other things. there is a blockchain technology there is a um vr it's there different. is a, uh, there are lots of other things like you know development kind of developers will have a lot of advantages here for coding there are something for gaming there are something for vr virtual reality this is not devops right so devops is a devops is something which will which will help us to set up the required infrastructure and automate the processes for us okay just wait okay. the third step is completed so let us clear let's doubt here so now in aws it's it's been serving a lot of things okay so today what we are going to do is we are into our actual devops training okay from here what we are doing is of course we need to learn one of the clouds we are starting with aws you are not actually aws cloud engineer but you are called as a devops engineer having an experience with aws services okay got it look okay yeah yeah, yeah because so it is a sub branch of also, aws as a we cloud. are also called cloud engineers basically but uh, to be core uh, completely have a lot of knowledge in aws you will be having designations like aws solutions architect associate uh, solutions architect uh, professional there are some other things okay yeah making sense yeah. let's go ahead then. yeah makes sense do you have anything more i'll show you anyways you will understand them okay so guys okay. uh, sign up for aws the fourth step is uh, verifying your uh, phone number okay yeah um, yeah rajnikan you can go ahead let us change this to india you can type your number you will be getting that code please enter the security at cw all small cw 6 psp 6 psp nice incorrect okay just wait let me try okay zb Five, okay. You can type your code. Two zero seven four. Yeah, you'll get. You'll receive on your phone. Now this is the fifth last step, guys. Nothing. It's not a step at all. Which plan do you want to go ahead? You have free developer support and business support. We want to go it with for free. and let's complete the sign up and uh, log into the page that's it guys it's a very simple thing but very important because the next 3 months of your course is going to be dependent on this by tomorrow everybody i want you people to create your accounts now we want to log in here let's give uh, can you give your mail id here rajnikan yeah this is one no 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 yeah no no i triple e dot over okay nice can you give your password yeah see uh just wait let's save it it will save a lot of time okay guys so this is a typical dashboard of our Uh, AWS uh, management console. Okay, it will still a lot of things, but uh, yeah, I'll uh, anyways I'll help you guys people to. So everybody is able to see. Okay. Meanwhile, Rajnikanth, you can uh, minimize this pop up. What uh, uh, Go to Meeting has given you right here. Can you minimize that pop up for yourself? There is a arrow at the edge. You can see left side. Please collapse. minimize that. Yeah, collapse. You can collapse that. Did it collapse? Yeah, it collapsed. But still, uh... you will just have a bar. You kind of horizontal or vertical bar. 
that is that will be there anyways. I'll take it. You can you're able to see right here, Rajnikant Alu. Alu, yeah. Nice, nice. See you guys. So this is the name which we have given for registration. And as I said, data center, this uh, AWS data centers throughout the world. Here the region is set up. See, in US itself, we have four: US East uh, two in Virginia, Ohio; US West two, North California and Oregon; South uh, Africa, you have uh, uh, Cape Town; in Asia Pacific, you have almost eight, and they're planning one more. Uh, lots of their planning. One one is going to come in Hyderabad, I believe. So Hong Kong, Jakarta, Mumbai, Osaka, Seoul, Singapore, Sydney, Tokyo. Canada Central, Europe also you have five, like that Middle East, Bahrain. So whichever place you are nearby, you can select that one. It's not mandatory, we can select any one, else, okay? It means on that particular data center or warehouse, which is located in Mumbai, we are right now going to create some resources. Got it guys, making sense? So this is, we set up to Mumbai. So here services, Uh, don't uh, try to move uh, cursor, okay? Because yeah. I'm also using it one side. Uh -huh. sure. Yeah. When I'm taking over, don't try to uh, move, okay? Yeah. Maximum. So see, guys, here the services is there, left side, beside that AWS, analytics, application integration, AR, VR, AWS, cost management, blockchain, business applications, compute, containers. These all things are there. Palak, are you getting it now? See, machine learning is there, Internet of Things is there, game development, front end, yes. web and mobile. We are not at all, a uh, DevOps engineer is never into uh, development. Of course, uh, he can. I'm not telling he should not, but he won't be much of the time. Okay. And this is all media services completely apart from our uh, zoner itself. Okay. Migration and transfer is there, quantum technologies, robotics, satellite, a lot of things. So this is services. These are all sorted and grouped services. Okay. But if you want to see all at once together, here is there, right? All services. See in compute what all we have. EC2. EC2 is one which we are going to learn today. That's to create one server, Linux server, Elastic Cloud Compute. Okay. And uh, light sail, Lambda, Batch, Elastic Beanstalk, so and so containers we have. ECR container registry, ECS, uh, container service, EKS, Kubernetes service. Red Hat Open Shift service on AWS, machine learning, you have a lot. See, I'll just scroll down, you'll see lots and lots of services. Mm. That's what I said that they have almost like 200 plus services today. And that's why they're having one of the major market share also. So now what we shall do, either you can select from here EC2, or else you can select from here. In compute, we'll have EC2, see EC2, or else you can just come here in the search box you can do ec2 and click on that okay just you will be navigated to ec2 dashboard ec2 this is the ec2 dashboard guys okay now let us uncheck this because i like the old view a lot and uh, the instances instances running or instances what is instance just like uh, one system which we are going to create it there is nothing because no one has created it's a fresh account there is nothing here okay uh, right now please focus here guys everyone launch an instance i want to create one instance i'm launching instance let us out opt out to the old old experience also it is also somewhat new not uh, good i feel much comfortable with old okay so choose an amazon image ami let's select the first one itself Guys, everybody, is it visible to you? It's not short, right? It's clear. Guys? Yeah, it's visible. Okay. So, here, while selecting that, see here, guys, I said you, we were only entitled for few services for free. See here, T2 Micro, we have free tire eligible. Making sense, guys? Okay. And what the system's configuration is, it is having one CPU and one GB memory one one gb ram okay and let's review and launch you have again taken so now after reviewing and launch slowly scroll down in the storage you can see 8 gb hard disk is given to you by default you can change everything edit storage edit instance it is everything is editable just i'm showing you 
a, a, a simpler thing, okay? Launch. Launch. So here, guys, it is asking for a choose an existing key pair. What is this key pair? Simply try to understand this is a kind of uh, password, okay? Because whenever you are uh, purchasing, I mean, for example, guys, when we purchase a new laptop or when you are uh, opening any laptop, okay, there will be username, then there will be a password, right? But here we are creating it very new. So we don't have a password for the user already there. So that's why we are creating this key pair. Just try to understand this much. In the later classes, I'll give you a, a better clarity about what is this key pair. Okay. So as we don't have any because it's a new account, let's create one new key pair. And let's name it as uh, Raj hyphen KWs. Okay, there should be no spaces in naming convention. Remember it. Okay. So we have downloaded that key pair. Where it will come? I'll tell you again. We'll uh, start using that later. Okay. Now, once we have downloaded the key pair, you can launch your instance. Simple. Done, guys. View instances. See here in view. Let us lift this here till here. Let us name it as test one. And this is the public IP we want this. How to connect? I'll show you people. See, this is in running state now. Okay. And uh, here we have all the details description about this particular instance. It's a Linux machine. Let's uh, see that. But meanwhile, guys, everyone. Can you uh, take a minute of your time? And everybody is in the WhatsApp group, right? Hey, guys? Yeah. Are you all in the WhatsApp group? Yes, yes. Can yes. you all ping there? Uh, like this is Lakshman, this is Pallav, this is Trinad, this is Raj, uh, Rajnikant. Can you all ping there in the group? Because every day Amar will go through this uh, people who are attending, guys. As I said, uh, finally, he's the one who is going to take care of your uh, uh, DevOps sessions. He wants to make sure uh, you are all there in this group and you get the regular updates. Even though the class recordings will be, uh, you will be getting the class recordings also in this group itself. Okay. And notes also. Trinath, are one you there question, in the group? Lakshmi. Yes, Pala. Yeah, please go ahead. So this instance EC2. Uh, uh, EC2 is like a server instance, right? It's a Linux yeah, server. It's a, it's a Linux server, yes. Okay. I'll, I'll show you guys. What just we did is, this is AWS Data Center Mumbai, right? We created one account for ourselves. This is ourselves, our personal system. We created one Linux server here. That's it. Okay. That is EC2 instance. This EC2 instance itself is okay. Got it. Line line our Linux server. But the Got thing it. is, like now, uh, we just created it. Okay. And we created it with one key pair. Remember that, guys. All everyone. This is associated with this instance, right? This server. Now we downloaded that key pair here itself. This is my PC. Let's write it as my PC. Now the task is how to connect from this server to this. I mean, our personal local system to this server. Okay. I will show how it can happen in Windows. And as well as I'll also help you people to understand how it works on, so works on Mac because a couple of people are using Mac here. Okay. Uh, so one guys, question, even, uh, one, uh, Lakshman yeah. again. Why we need to connect our PC with the server? Like if you want to work, we can directly work on the server. Of course, but server where the server is in AWS. Data center. I'm yeah. not asking you to connect your system to that. I'm asking to uh, you know operate this instance from your system making sense okay right okay 
we are not connecting how how to set up the communication what are the things needed for this communication so that by using your own system you can actually control or operate this linux server on this. that's the main purpose right by using a system okay, we are creating the resources here and we want to do the practice required practice guys everybody did uh, ping in the group please uh, let me just check uh, give me one second alak rajnikanth and shrinur rest all haven't pinged in uh, janardhan ganesh trinad are you in the group guys can you please respond trinad ganesh and janardhan no uh, i am in one group that names is devops demo 15th may That's yeah one group i am in. aws devops demo may 15th 7 pm right no 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 only devops that's written only okay. devops team. that is the actual issue just give me one second okay that's why i'm asking yeah. you people whether you're in the right group or not don't worry okay uh, than... <clears throat> meanwhile everybody else uh, did you ping in the group please let me know i'm giving you a uh, janardhan one uh, yeah. i'm giving one link okay whatsapp link uh, group link in the chat box can you check in the go to meeting chat box yeah, yeah i got it got it can you please uh, yeah. straight away uh, click on that link and uh, send it to your you know mobile or whatever yeah, you just joined right yes. yeah ganesh are you there can you please ping in the group oh you are also joining no? trinad trinad Can you unmute yourself? Srinath, can you unmute yourself? Am I audible? Karim, are you there in the group? Karim and Varlakshmi. Guys. Uh, Sorry, it's not clear. Can you come again? Hello. Okay. Uh, Varlakshmi, am I audible? Can you please? Hello. Shrinath, can you please ping in the group? Why you you are you are audible earlier? I don't know what happened to you. Okay. let's move ahead guys so please guys use that link because this is the only group where you will be getting your notes and your recording classes okay and also the updates and uh, anyways after the registration 2 to 3 days we'll be moving this group to the devops group and then uh, the links and updates will be there so please uh, don't uh, miss that you can uh, ping in this group or be active so let's get back thank you guys so where we are yeah so this is what we do so now to connect from a windows system guys in uh, to this linux server we need one application that's putty or putty whatever they call it, okay this will be downloading and this is not this is not the only thing but this is a uh, for any starters this is a uh, easiest way but later you have lot of other applications like git bash mobile system uh, vs code um, several are there okay super putty is there now let's go back to the system i mean let's download the putty app and people who are using mac and Li i mean linux or ganesh is using ubuntu right you people don't need any application third party like that you have your terminal i'll tell and help you how to use that terminal okay now i'll do putty For all the people who are using Windows, put it download for Windows 10. Just click on that and go to the official website always, put your C and click on here. You'll get the download. Select the 64-bit Pro 86 because that's the of course everybody has that uh, architecture now today. Okay, now we have downloaded. It's downloaded. Nice. open it and just install next 
next uh -huh, okay, okay. install this will install two applications guys basically one is putty and one is putty gen okay we'll see um, how to connect to this instance guys you are able to follow right if you have any questions anytime please stop me and ask me once again uh, we can uh, discuss that okay done yeah finish uh no read me Un uncheck that okay no problem just a second second guys okay you can close this now the application is downloaded so <clears throat> let's check this so see as i said you applications you will download to putty and putty gen. first of all open putty here it is asking for the host name where, where we can get the host name or ip address that's public ip guys okay you will get it from your ect console where is the public ip there are several places you can find the public ip so this is public ip and here also you can copy like this or you can just click here to get it copied let's go paste it and uh, we we are doing an ssh connection guys here okay the connection type c clearly it is ssh so that's why you will go to the left column on top of ssh click the plus and here on authentication you need to click here everything is set already but it is asking for a private key file for authentication where we will get that from we already downloaded a key pair remember guys okay yes from that key pair yes. you need to extract a private key yeah you're saying something so to extract that private key guys we need put it in application okay it's a one time task remember what how what you should what should i do lakshman just to open the putty key generator it's a one time task for every new key okay and one key is enough to start any how many ever instances you want if you want you can change that's up to you let's load the already present downloads where is the download where is the file come here and click on all files then you will see details always sorted it's not sorted fine let's leave it uh, what did we uh, download raj right raj hyphen aws where why okay i think you are in desktop download, right yeah, yeah. And I'll copy this so that I can save the private key also with the same name. Always try to remember it. Okay. Save the private key. See, guys, again I'm showing you. Here two options came right. After loading the key, save the private key. Yes, I want to open it. And where I want to save on desktop, let's save it. It, it will make us easy. Paste with the same name and remove the dot com extension. Never ever you need dot com because already it will get a dot ppk extension. Save okay close it again go back to putty here private key browse go to desktop and give raj I'll, or else you can scroll it will be like this system with come uh, cap open open 
accept login as which user you will be logging into the system as this is again a question because we should have some username to log into the system and of course it is not raj because raj created means the username will not be raj right so what should it be for all that linux systems remember guys the default is ec2 hyphen user this is the default which is uh, uh, given by the developer of this operating system getting it ec2 hyphen user and i'll give a click see got it guys see who am i it's a command which will tell you which user you logged into the system currently x ec2 hyphen user and what is the private ip see 172.31.4.202. Is this the same, guys? 172.31.4.202. Making sense, guys? Simple. That's how you connect in this system. Can anybody, uh, Ganesh, can you share your screen? Actually, yours is Linux, right? Uh, yeah, that's open. Any screen? Actually, I am working on data center room, so I can have not a permission to explain no, no. to my screen. Because no, I am uh, no. in a because I am in uh, office, sir. Because I, I because I am working in data center, uh, CDAC data center, the 24 by 7 uh, sh schedule duty, shift duty. So I cannot share. So I will connect on my mobile. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, I can hear you. I understand that completely. No worries. I just want to make because sure have... uh, you also. Uh, no, because... Anyways, for the people who are using Mac and uh, uh, I, mean, I mean Linux systems, guys, remember when there is no need of all this putty, putty gen, private nothing. All you need to do is you should open a terminal. You will have a inbuilt terminal in the system. Okay, if you go into. Uh, how to better than, uh, put is, use put is better than mobile extension yeah of course Mova, see how to Mova use Mova mac terminal Mova, this Mova kind of application will come guys this kind of application will be there in your applications in mac okay this is called terminal once you open this you can use that you need to navigate to cd downloads because in downloads only you will have that uh, pem file which you downloaded from there see this command you should work first of all the third step i'll show you for any instance guys the actions are here the connect is here see just now we did this open an ssh client that is connecting through putty and locate your private key raj hyphen aws fam remember all these steps we did leaving them aside for people who are using terminal from mac or uh, uh, linux you need to first of all go to downloads okay then only you will find this file there in terminal and then you need to change uh, the mode of operation of that particular file you won't understand this as of now if you don't have any experience just type this command then you need to do this command ssh hyphen i raj hyphen aws dot pen ec2 hyphen user at the rate so and so this domain okay simple from your terminal you're telling do an ssh communication by using this private uh, this uh, pem file because this is the security file for that instance login as ec2 hyphen user at the rate 3746151 the same public ip just it is a domain uh, dns this is a dns that's it okay once you log into this you will connect to the terminal just like this you will get a, a terminal like this okay Try it. If you don't understand, I'll help you guys. Don't worry. But all I need is you people should uh, uh, break that uh, sharing one, or else we can connect on our Google Meet or something like that. Okay. So, uh, any questions here, guys? Or shall I go once more, once again show it uh, in uh, a Lakshman, single go? How? Uh, Lakshman, I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Can you please open that paint ones where you showed uh, Mumbai Data Center? yeah uh, so uh, this key pair uh, is for my mobile data center let's say uh, i choose some other data center let's say for europe so then i have to again change the key pair or it will remain the same nice it's a very good question yes of course uh, for example i'll show you that again now okay 
for security reasons only, these re regions are there, okay? different, different regions. If I'm in the same region, I can use the same key for any number of instances. Making sense? Okay. Because this key is only one time downloadable key and it is only with Rajni Kantana. Nobody else can, if even let us imagine this is a uh, company's account, okay? Instead of Rajni Khan, it's an organization, Rajni.com uh, something, that organization. And we all have some accounts to access this AWS because together as a team, we need to work on only one account, right? We can't have different, yeah. different accounts. But we have different, different users. That's like Palak, that's like Lakshman, Rajni Khan, like that, okay? And once Rajni Khan has created some instances, he get download that key. And he will only have that key. That is a security system. Seriously. Okay. He can share it over mail or he should keep it a backup. If not, it is not downloadable again. There is a very big workaround and it's not recommended at all. But instead of oh. that, we can do a lot of other things. Okay. And now I can use the same key to launch this one, uh, another uh, instance. But I can't use the same key. For example, let's make that also in North Virginia. Now I'm selecting. Okay. Let's see how it happens. In North Virginia, if I'm launching this new instance, okay, see the instance page is again empty because in North Virginia, I haven't created. This is the warehouse which is in North Virginia. Making sense? Okay. Opt out to old experience. Let's select the Amazon image. T2 micro is by default already selected, guys. Don't worry. Okay, and I'll get review and launch. Launch. See, it is asking for a key pair. Yes, yes. Making sense? It's asking, uh, choose an existing key pair. There is no key pair found. Mm, right. Because the key pair is created in different region. For example, if I go to Mumbai, again, back, and I try to uh, launch one instance, uh, T2 micro review and launch launch see here it is there so it is a uh, region specific got it got it yeah yeah now come down slowly now see there is no downloading the key pair again because we already had it okay yes and yes. you can see test two instance here see guys it's it's hardly taken two seconds launching the second instance okay and uh, this is the public ip see? and go here again in putty open the putty what i will do i'll do a right click on the top on the white bar to get a new session and i will paste the public ip where i should go ssh connection authentication browse on desktop what is the name it has Raj Open. Accept. Login as which user, guys? EC2 hyphen user. The default user of Linux. See who am I? EC2 hyphen user. But what is the public private IP now? 172.31.5148. 172.31.5148. Right? This is test two. Earlier, it is 172.31.4202. And the first box will have the same. 172.31.4202. At least two, two minutes of time, guys, to launch an instance and start it. Okay. Any any doubt here? Please let me know, or else I'll uh, tell you very one important thing. That's the last uh, thing to learn today. While setting up the resources, using it for our practice purpose, and then what to do, Lakshman? You need to stop that instance. For example, in our practice session the next one week, we don't need two instances at all. All we need is one instance is enough for learning the basics of Linux. So for that purpose, what we'll do is we will terminate one. There are two options. Either you can go on actions or you can do a right click here. In instant state, either you can stop or terminate. What I will do is I'll terminate here. Because I don't need two, right? I'll terminate one. It starts. Uh, uh, I'll terminate this. Then I'll select this instance. 
I can go here, instant state, stop. Stop means just like today, uh, shut, uh, shut down, tomorrow open the system and use. Terminate means completely deleting that resource from your AWS account. Making sense? Guys? So I'm using window, then I'm set. To, yeah, you can set put the, uh, so you know, you can just to follow the class, okay? If you're using a Windows system, it's actually absolutely. Actually, we can migrate an instance from one region to other region, right? We can do that, right? Yeah, of course we can do that. Not as an instance, but there is there is some process for that. Not just like this uh, drag and put like kind of thing. Uh, you need to take a backup. You need to either uh, take a backup of the volume or you need to take the image of this uh, instance and uh, you need to create one uh, image. Uh, you need to create one new instance with that particular image. Okay. Anyways, you learn that things in AWS. AWS. Okay. Because our co course is having AWS part as well, right? So you will be uh, taking. I mean, you will be also getting the knowledge regarding that. Okay. That's possible. What I can say is as of now. Okay, Rajnikant, any, anything more? So you guys both stopped. This won't work. See, let's type something. Is the connection is not. Yeah, of course I want to close this. The more side unexpectedly close the network connection, right? Okay. So this is it, guys. Uh, let's meet again tomorrow. And I want all you people to be on time, guys. Could I, I saw, yeah, like we had a delay some people came around 7 10 13 is the last entry i believe and uh, yeah someone 